I am so curious. If someone has actually never seen anything that you've done before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? Huh, that's a great question. My my initial instinct is to start at the beginning. Uh, and, and, and that would be a film called The Bay Boy. Uh, because it's where I started and, and, and everything from that point forward is an evolution. Um, going outside of what I would instinctually say it would probably be 24 because that was the time, uh, that so much changed for me as an actor. For instance, uh, when I started working as an actor, uh, Robert De Niro, who had the biggest career at the time would do maybe one to one and a half movies every two years, right? So maybe two movies every three years. Um, and, and all of the young actors thought that that was what we were supposed to do. Now, if I want to become an Olympic runner, I train every day. And so when I got to do 24, I got to work every day. And so the training for me, uh, as an actor really began there because, you know, we're working at such a fast pace compared to that of making a film. Um, and, and so I feel that my, my knowledge of the craft of acting grew exponentially during that time period. So, uh, 24 is kind of what I would maybe recommend someone if they wanted to see me mature, at least as an actor. Uh, what was it about uh, this particular project that said, I want to make this, I want to play this role? It was a combination of things. I mean, obviously, for me, the script is the most important thing that, that, that will always be the deciding factor of why I moved to be a part of telling that story. And, and, and this on two levels. Uh, this script is an, an, was an incredible thriller. It was exciting. Uh, it was a page turner. But it also taught me about an area of something that I just did not know anything about, which was, you know, that there were recruiters out there that were picking out kind of the best of the best of the special forces as they were either being pushed out of the armed forces or retiring, and that they were using them for special private ops, so that they were being hired out by corporations as security details to do, in the context of this movie, um, illegal work. Um, that's a, you know, for companies to start getting private armies, that's a very scary, op you know, option. Um, and, and, and you certainly, uh, I mean, all of us were aware of kind of the troubles that Blackwater ran into in Iraq when there's some of their, uh, operators, uh, you know, abuse their authority and, and, and kill civilians, uh, in the street. Um, so it's, it's. It's, it, it opened my eyes to a, a, a something that I just simply was not very familiar about. And so the combination of being a great thriller and kind of learning something at the same time uh, was very appealing to me as an actor. And then, you know, Chris Pine and Ben Foster uh, did a movie called Hell or High Water. And I thought they, they were one of the best duos that I had seen since kind of uh, Robert Redford and Paul Newman. Um, they're, the way they work together uh, is just cool. Uh, there's a kind of, they exploit humor uh, when there isn't any. It's just innately how they behave with each other. Um, and I, I, was, I was thrilled to be able to do a film with them. Yeah, I told them when I spoke to them that they need to make like 10 more movies together. Yeah, I agree. I, and I'll go see every one of them. Uh, how also, were you uh, happy to be able to use your tattoos in the role? I was happy not to cover them up, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, because that's a long process, um, you know, and, uh, and and I've had these tattoos for, you know, for years and years and years. Uh, and obviously, Jack Bauer did not. And uh, so, you know, I had to approach, wore a lot of long sleeves on very hot days. Um, but no, every once in a while, if if, if it suits the character, then uh, and I felt that it did with this that that it was it was nice not to have to cover them up. Before I run out of time with you, I am a big fan of Dark City. Uh, oh, me and, too, man. And I've never gotten to talk to you about it, so here's that moment. Um, okay. When you think back on the making of it, I, I love learning like the behind the scenes, like shit you don't hear in the press notes or 
hear about. So mm-hmm. what are like cool things that fans of that movie might not realize about the making well, of the movie? Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. I mean, so Alex Proyas had written that as a cartoon uh, or sorry, cartoons, not right, animated uh, event. He'd written it uh, when he was 15 years old. He'd been carrying that in his back pocket for a dec- decades. And and when I went to go meet with him, I met with him at a hotel in Los Angeles, California. Um, my career was kind of treading water, to put it politely. Um, and we were just supposed to talk about the script, but I had read it and I had memorized parts of it already uh, just because I loved it so much that I did an impromptu, we were talking, having a discussion, and I said, well, I don't think I can articulate it as well as I can just show you. And in the middle of the bar of the hotel, I started playing Schreiber and and with the voice and, and the walk and all of it. And I think I scared him a little bit, uh, but he took a chance with me because of my enthusiasm. And I was really grateful because it's, it's one of, you know, I'm very proud of really a lot of the work I've been, you know, given the opportunity to do. But Dark City will always hold a special place in my heart because I believe that creatively it approaches what I consider to be cinema, which is the highest art form of filmmaking. And and that was because Alex did that with it. And so it was just something I was so proud to be a part of. And, uh, and sadly, Will Hurt has just recently passed away, but I think he's extraordinary in it. Uh, Rufus Sewell, Jennifer, um, I was uh, Richard O'Brien, just so many great actors, uh, and and it was just it was a thrill to be a part of. Yeah, I love the movie. Um, I'm already out of time. I'm just going to say thank you for your work, and I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, brother, thank you. I wish you everything. Be safe and healthy, and and I, I look forward to talking to you soon.